Second of our short series of Scottish Tales of the Supernatural, the darker side of the border. A young Scots soldier fighting in the Peninsula War in Spain is about to fall in love. <laughs> Olalia by Robert Louis Stevenson Dramatized by Marty Ross I will close the shutters. We need not see any more of our homes burning. So, Spain has lost another battle. I'm sorry, Doctor. Sorry? You fought bravely. They all fought. All my men. Until the last howl had been hacked out of them. They were Spanish. You shed Scottish blood where only Spanish was sought. And those of French think foreign mercenaries will suffer the harshest treatment. I am not a mercenary. You think they will listen to your idealism. You need safety to heal. We must leave tonight. The French thought the village was sheltering guerrillas. So they have butchered every man here, young or old. This can't be the safe haven you have in mind. No. What we seek here is the priest for the district. Ah, there. Padre. Padre! Yes, yes, I come. Who calls? Ah, Carido. And our wounded volunteer. All is prepared? Yes. Felipe will meet him at the crossroads. You have a long journey ahead, young sir. Where am I going? There is a family some way from here. They have a residencia in the hills. Once I hear they were great people. Now, alas, they are near destitution. So they will take the doctor's money and keep quiet. Your part of the bargain, young sir, is to have as little contact with the family as possible. There are three of them. The son, Felipe, is an imbecile. You may talk a little with him, since he will have nothing useful to say. And then there is Olalia. Olalia? The daughter. A pious Catholic girl. One who should not be sullied by contact with the offspring of a heathen land like your own. I'll bear it in mind. And there is the mother. You should not so much as cross her shadow. As grand as that. Please, do what we ask. Padre! Padre! There. I have to attend to those who did not choose this war for themselves. The crossroads. Felipe will meet you there. Ah! Sir, you are sick? No. No, Felipe. It's just... The track is a little... pumpy. Rough. Sierra. Rough and lonely. No one else lives near. Oh, yes, Commandante. Yesterday, I saw a crow in that old tree. The crow lives here. Ah. I hope I'm not a great trouble to your mother coming here. Nor to your sister. Olalia? You will not see her. She is not at the... Residencia. Oh, yes, but she is a, a good girl, yes? So I've heard. A saint, says the priest. 
Maybe it's better if I don't meet her. Whoa! What a disappointment if she should prove anything less. Senor? Just drive the wagon, Felipe. Oh, no, Comandante. The wagon is where he wants to be. There. You see? A residencia. Yeah. My what? A grand old place. Once. This room is for you. Thank you. Perhaps I ought to see your mother. Thank her for her hospitality. My mother? No, no. Too late. In the evening, she is not good. Well, you must thank her for me when you see her next. Oh, yes. I certainly won't be lonely in here. Senor? But these portraits everywhere. They are your ancestors? Your family? Oh, yes. Familia. My blood is theirs. Grand people. From the look of the finery. Oh, yes, Comandante. We are a grand family. I see them in you, Felipe. The faces. Theirs and yours. Are your sister and mother the same? The same, perhaps, as this portrait. This rather beautiful woman here. We are all one family. Once there was money, now there is none. But still, there is no family here but us. I should like to meet your mother, Felipe. Your mother? And Olalia. Felipe! Hello? Felipe! My son is in the garden. He must plant as much as the soil will allow. Senora. Senor? How nice to meet you. I've been almost a week in your care. I am... I know who you are. Come closer. The sun is upon me here, and it would be a torture to move. Of course. Yes. You have a wound, do you not? Ah. Uh, yes. Yes. And you are a boy still. Oh, a little more than that. A boy. I have been aged enough in this sun to know a boy for what he is. You do yourself a disservice. Why do they shoot their bullets into boys as handsome as you? I suppose I rather asked for this one. Did you? Why? For Spain. Yet you are not of Spain. No. I haven't really belonged to anywhere for some while. We belong here. We have no place but this. I've seen the portraits. I seem to have seen your face, Signora, if I may say, many times amongst them. <laughs> in finer clothes. In settings more beautiful than this dusty yard. Nonetheless, forgive me. The beauty remains. Your hand. Give me it. My hand? Give it. Well... Ah! Oh, yes. This is but a boy's hand. Yet it has shot bullets and stabbed a bayonet and worn a glove of blood. Why? Where is Felipe? You would lead my son into your bloody ways. I thought he might help me explore the land around here. A good idea. He will take you hunting. Signora, you're hurting my hand. I meant only to kiss it. Signora. Mama. Felipe, our guest wishes you to show him the splendors of our estates. Take care of him. And you, Mother? Oh, I shall sit in the sun so long as it lasts. Take care, Commandante. With the rocks here. Ah, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Is the world not beautiful, Commandante? The sight of it from here. A wild beauty, yes. All this land is ours, for many hundred years. A harsh land, no. Nothing grows, that is certain. Quisiera ser tan alta como la luna. Ay, ay, 
Oh, there is that old crow in his tree. He laughs that the land is dead. Dead things turn red and sweet in his mouth. Senor Crow, you are fat with all my family has lost in this dust. Watch, Comandante. He is so fat I can catch him from his tree. No, Felipe. He is the bird and I am the cat. Felipe, leave it. Die. <laughs> Felipe. I have the old thief. Let it go. You see? He wants to flap away to pick more bones. Felipe! But I have a metal tooth here by my shining knife that can bite off those flap of flap wings. You see? Felipe, no, no! Let it go! Felipe, let it go! Senor? For God's sake, man! Yes! I am a man and it is a beast. The man who will inherit that tree, a man from noble birth. I know who's the beast hereabouts. Give me a stone. Damn it! Damn! Do you know how many men I've killed, Felipe? It's so damned easy. One hardly needs a gun or a knife. These hands of mine, shaped to crack the spine of a Presbyterian hymn book, so often sufficed. You feel how easy it would be for me to make you suffer as you did that poor crow. You feel I'm sorry. I at least should know better. No. Come on, Dante. It is for me to apologize. I have let the beast in me come out. I will bury the bird. But we must be quick. The black wind is coming. The what? It will be with us by night. You see? Past the ridge. The cloud. Yes. That's dust. What's happening in this damned house? There! Who is that? It is a beast in the yard. A beast. They do not like the wind. I do not like being treated like an idiot. Bring that candle. Please, you must go back to your room. Olalia will be so angry. Is that Olalia? It is an animal, frightened by the black wind. It sounds human. I want to know. There, whose room is that? Oh, you must not go there. Whose room? She will be so... Who? Olalia? I want to see in there. No! No! isn't what I expected. You must come away. Books. Books everywhere. Latin. Sacred texts. She is fierce with all who touch them. 
and writings. Poetry? This is Olalia's room, isn't it? She is a saint. All that keeps me above the beast I was today. If one begins the descent, she says, where is he to stop? Running my non-believing fingers over your sister's property. That's a falling from grace in itself, I suppose. There are worse. What? But it is bad enough. Felipe? He's gone. He knows he should not be in here. Olalia? My mother can accept money for your place in this house. She knows I allow her no control of this room. Someone was screaming. In a dream you had. I heard it two minutes ago. You heard nothing. You may rely on me to tell you what does and does not happen in this house. Your hand. Go. Is that blood upon it? It is my blood. I shed it as I please. Now go. Until I'm more worthy of your company, then. You shall not be here long enough for that. Ave Maria, grazia plena. Olalia! Ave Maria, grazia plena. Olalia. Ave Maria, grazia plena. I came here to pray. You disturbed me. I caught sight of you coming up here. Impressive piece of work in its grim way. Grim? The cross here, the sculpture. Your country's art tends to emphasize the suffering. Our Lord was crucified under a sun hot as this. How could suffering be escaped? I don't suppose it could. The one pure soul ever to take human form and the rest of them were on him like dogs. These are gloomy meditations for one so young and innocent of life. You think me innocent? There isn't much of the life of the world to be experienced hereabouts. Enough to drive me to this cross every day. There are more hospitable places you could run. The great cities, Madrid, Seville, many others. Oh yes, such as the place where they put a bullet in you. What an appetite they have for life thereabouts. They quite tore it out of you. There are places beyond Spain, such as those to which I'll soon have to flee. I believe my dashing soldier makes a proposal. He offers a thought. The thought of life as a soldier's follower. I did not mean that. What then did you mean? I don't know. My wound is not healed yet. Today it hurts. And what of your wound, Olalia? I have no wound. What about last night? The blood on your hand? Does my dashing soldier lose sleep worrying over me? Thinking of someone like you living her life in this wilderness, yes. He might toss and turn a little. Perhaps he wants me to come and sing him to sleep. That might do the trick. Spanish songs are fierce. They might keep you awake. Let me see your hand. To kiss it? It wasn't kissed last night, was it? Let me see. No. Let me. This bite. Was this an animal? Were those your cries last night? You wander in the courtyard tonight. If it's too warm to sleep. Until tonight, then. Olalia. It is indeed too warm to sleep, is it not? It is, yes. And that moon fairly stares at one. Is not this the moon we stand on now? Isn't this light its silver dew on me, on you? I don't know what it is. All I know is what I see in you. There are too many shadows in this courtyard for you to see me clearly. Then let me take you where I might know you better. Alas, the impatience of soldiers. Don't think of me as a brute. A brute's what I've been. If I reach out now and touch you, it's to draw tenderness close about me and time free of the panic of outrunning bullets. Can't you understand that a woman locked away from the rush of your world might want to quicken her own blood? 
sorry. You find me rough, I'm sure. No, no. Just a touch. I've made you bleed. Just a bite in the lip. I won't die of it. No, here, at your heart, your wound. Oh, it's all right. You pressed a little close, that's all. You must go, tonight. Go? Far from here. You stink of blood. I can't. Must I press my fingers in the wound to make you believe the danger you are in? Oh, Lalia, ah! Now go! For God's sake, ah! Tell me! Still, you will not go. Then I must. I am a danger to us both. No! Olalia! Oh, ah! Olalia! Oh, Where have you gone? Please, I don't understand. Olalia! Oh, Is that you? Olalia! Oh, Olalia? Bésame, bésame mucho, como si fuera esta noche. Olalia? Última vez. Is that you in there? Olalia! Olalia? Are you in here? Bésame, bésame mucho. Oh, senora, you give me a fright, creeping around in the firelight. I knew you would come. Yes. I was looking for your daughter. My brave young soldier, bearing your blood like a medal. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Just needs a clean bandage. How like a lover you look, bringing me that red flower. Signora? Like my husband, so long ago. I've disturbed you. Sorry, I'll leave. I lost him, and my land was left parched. No blood in it, until you came. Signora, please. Did you not come to bleed beneath my kiss? Signora. <laughs> Help me! Help me! Senora! Help me! Ah! Ah! Mama! Felipe, for God's sake! She's biting! Ah! No, Mama! No! Olalia! No! Olalia! Mama! Hada, Mama! 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 <laughs> Senor. Olalia. Come. Your mother. She. She bit into me like a. like an animal. She is no animal. No more than you or I. Senor. One kiss. We must take you away from here. I am a woman, senor. Mama! I need a kiss to live. Mama! No! Do not take him! Mama, por favor. No! What? Lie back. You are safe. Dr. Carito. Once again, I come to your rescue. What? Where is this? Not the resident here. Oh, you young fool. You're at my house, where the French can sniff out your blood. Padre? Dear God. The mother there. You need not tell me. If you had heeded my words, no more warning would have been required. You have been in a delirium, but the infection from your wound has passed. While you lay there, the padre has been more candid. That once great family has become as degenerate in spirit as it is in fortune. That madness, it isn't all of them. In the blood of all of them, yes. 
Circumstance dictates those moments for the individual when the infection becomes fever. But yes, it curses them all. Then they must be helped. They are beyond our help. What? Word of your experience has got around. It is not the first time. The local people are superstitious. They are frightened and prepared to exorcise those they think devils by fire. Can you not hear them out there? Hmm? Gathering their forces? I can do nothing. We must get to the family first. It will be enough if I can save you from the mob's anger. Me? If they know of your innocence and the mother's assault, they know also of your affections for the daughter. Such affections as I forbade you. They fear the seed of evil will be sown in another generation. And will cut down any stalk which might bear that seed. No. I must. I must go to her. No. Your wound, it is not healed. I know where I'll find her. The cross. Yes. Olalia. Alexander, no. I knew I'd find you here. The people down in the valley, they... I know. They come for us with fire. You and your family must come with me. We have no place in the world but this. The resident Thea will be ashes by sunset. Then we must be ashes too. No. It will be better. You have seen what our birthright has made of my mother. Your mother needs help, not burning alive. We were past help a hundred years before we were born. I as surely as she. But aren't you proof of how a soul can rise above that inheritance? For how long? I... Your wound is bleeding. Not badly enough to stop me. There, then. <laughs> I go. Forget me. The flames will... No. No. Ah. Olalia. 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 In Olalia by Robert Louis Stevenson, dramatized by Marty Ross. Alec was played by Paul Blair. Felipe by Richard Conlon. Signora, Carol Ann Crawford. Olalia, Roxana Pope. Dr. Carido, Richard Greenwood. Padre, Simon Tate. The director was Bruce Young.